A lot of people ask me many times, how do you play so fast and you make it sound so clean and so effortless and all that? Well, first of all, I want to make one thing clear here. You cannot fake practicing. You got to put in the time, guys. You got to put in the time and the work. And um, I think that there's nothing that cannot be achieved by practicing and by putting in the work. Number two, there's a couple of techniques here that I want to talk about, a couple of picking concepts. And um, you might have heard of these before. Obviously, one that I'm using a lot is called alternate picking, but there's another one called economy picking. Now, what alternate picking is, is when you start with a downstroke and then you go up. So down, up, down, up. I use alternate picking to do a lot of these three note per string licks that I do, but I also incorporate some economy picking in there. Now, what economy picking is, is when you start on a downstroke and you play three notes per string, for example, here on E, instead of playing an upstroke when you're going to switch string, you do another downstroke. So down, up, down, down. Um, it's an interesting concept. For example, I use it a lot when I do licks like this. Whereas uh, alternate picking is all up and down, up and down. So. There's a different, there's a slightly a different sound to it. Maybe the alternate picking has um, maybe more attack, maybe it sounds a little bit more aggressive and maybe all, um, economy picking sounds a little bit more smoother. Okay, so I wanna show you an exercise. So uh, maybe that will help you with your alternate picking. It's gonna be on E minor and please note I'm tuning one whole step down. So we're gonna go right here. So basically that's the shape here. So you just repeat it. And you can move that up and down the scale or in any scale on other strings too. You should definitely experiment with that and come up with your own combinations. Like Okay, so again, this is, it starts with a downstroke and then down, up, down, and when you switch strings, it's an upstroke. I highly suggest that you practice all these things with a metronome at a very slow speed at first and with not too much gain on your guitar and slowly, gradually build up. Okay, for economy picking, I want to show you a variation of this lick that maybe will help you understand the difference between the two. So, here we go. Okay, so what this lick is doing here is we start again on a downstroke, up, down, and then when we switch string to the E string, it's another downstroke but instead we're jumping one note instead of going here on the 17th fret we go to the 19th fret so okay So this is the concept and I hope you can differentiate um, alternate picking and economy picking. They're both very useful um, and they're both very helpful to help you play the stuff that you want to play. And you can use this not only with three noper strings but with two noper strings as well. Um, you can experiment and uh, let me know what you guys think or if you want me to talk about something more or if you have any issues that maybe I can help with. Just uh, drop us a comment, subscribe and uh, keep in touch, see ya.